everything now! An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Hey everybody, welcome in. It's me, Gary Belmonte. Tito, my uncle by marriage, is out again this week, and so I'm filling in, and thank you, Tywin, for the sub. Yes, it's me, Gary. Welcome in, folks. Welcome to Everything Now Corporation's uh, Customer Service Center, where I'm here, along with all of you, to help Everything Now Corporation's loyal customers. Now, obviously, Everything Now Corporation is known worldwide for its excellent service, its excellent products, uh, but occasionally, we will have a customer call in with a problem. I don't know. That's where I come in. And you come in by helping me help them figure out what their problem is and get it taken care of. There's a variety of ways that you can help me help them tonight. Uh, okay, oh, that that's not gone. supposed to be in this format. Working on it. Maybe <laughs> somebody forgot to change the sound alerts. <laughs> They're not supposed to be able to do that. I'm not supposed to have gas. Could be, uh, Excuse me. Yeah. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> give me a second. Give me a second. I'm working on it. Pardon me. And excuse me. And there's another one. Oh. It won't be like this for the two hours. We're in the it's clear. okay. And Good. excuse me. Woo! Bro, was what an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> well, welcome, like I said, to the call center. Folks, there's a variety of ways that you can help out tonight. Now, we're gonna be taking some calls in a moment here, and we're going to be talking to some prospective, uh, some actual customers through their problems. Uh, but you can interact by using sound alerts. They're different than the ones that you may have just seen. We've just changed them. In fact, you can use this one to trigger my freaking annoying coworker. Yeah, uh, I shouldn't have even said anything. So one of the things about working in this office is you don't really want to hang out with everybody, but uh, unfortunately, yes, sometimes you. Yes, my boyfriend oh, exists. He's teleported in. Yeah, he's busy. He's working right now. Can you pretend to be my boyfriend? I'm sorry. All right, fine. You want to talk to him? All right, go ahead. Here you go. He's my boyfriend. Well, uh, I don't know how you passed me that. Um, hi, uh, hi I'm. The boy, I'm the boyfriend. Michael. My, I'm Michael's boyfriend. Uh huh. How did? <laughs> Sounds like someone added. A I'm sorry. Phone you heard that through the phone. No. You heard that through the phone. I don't know how that's possible. Listen, um, Michael is scary. Okay. What? <laughs> Okay, it costs strong. 10, it costs ten thousand bits to do that now. This is strong. This is scary to you. He's so big. You're Michael. I'm so bit. I'm. Anyway, I gotta go. Goodbye. Sorry about that. I gotta go. I gotta work. I gotta do my work. Sorry. Do you have many friends? Hmm. Never mind. Anyway, folks, if you want to trigger more interactions with my annoying coworker, you can use the sound alerts, and please do not use them to make me fart. There's also other ways you can interact tonight. You can subscribe, like Tywin did earlier, and I think probably one other person, yep. and sign the get well card for, let's say, who is it, chat? Who is it that's having a problem this last time? Last uh, Last time, of course, it was... Jack, Jacketa or something, I think, right? Jacketson. <laughs> Jacketson, right. And people wrote all kinds of things, like, thanks for the jacket, loser, and damn, that sucks, and other things. 
uh, we decided that Jacketson had lost their jacket, and that was why we were writing a get well card. But Jacketson, I guess, found their jacket, and now it's time to figure out who this new get well card is for. Monica. It's, it's for Brandy, is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing Brandy is the suggestion. And what happened with Brandy? Why is it that we're writing Brandy a get well card? Hat too big. Nope. Let's get it from the chat. What is the problem with Brandy? Um, she died? I feel like we probably wouldn't be writing a card for her if she died. Um, Madden Drew Kickstarter says hat too big. Tattoo accident. <laughs> We're yeah, taking we're taking Apple's Dragon's suggestion of I already forgot it. <laughs> come on. Tattoo accident. Tattoo accident. Oh come on now. Please. We're on fire tonight, folks. We gotta get this thing moving. Alright, Brandy had a tattoo accident, and look at this, we've already got two entries. Uh, Nico Wooster said, drink lots of tea, but not the tea from England since we threw all that tea in the Boston Harbor back in the war. Great advice, Nico. Thank you. And Tywin uh, said, get well soon. Remember, if you don't make it, you're helping the economy by freeing up a job and a house for the next generation. But please stay. We value you more. Thanks, Tywin. I'm sure Brandy's going to really appreciate that as uh, she recovers from her tattoo accident. If you have other messages you'd like to write for Brandy in her Get Well card, subscribe and then tell us what you want to put in the card using the exclamation point submit command and we'll show it in the card. Um, and also you can kill callers by donating $5. But with all of that out of the way, oh, and let's try to hit our goal because if we do, we'll head on over to the water cooler where we will get a chance to help one of our more, uh, I suppose, socially awkward co-workers make conversation around the water cooler that's a lot of fun and i'm sure they would really appreciate it so let's get those subs in let's hit 20. let's do it but i think i'm ready now to take my first call and i need your help to sort this out so let's get to it hi you've reached gary belmonte at the everything now corporation how can i help you hi it's me champion swimmer diana nyad hi Diana Nyad, hi there. Thank you for calling Everything Now Corporation. Uh, what seems to be your problem? Uh, well, I feel like if you were paying attention to the culture, you'd understand something incredibly fucked up happened last night. Oh, I'm sorry. I pretty much just go right to bed as soon as I get off work here. Uh, can you help catch me up? Well, okay, so I was nominated for Academy Award. Yeah. Congratulations! Tris, that's fantastic. Uh -huh. Yeah. And a cat. What category? Best actor, best actress, best picture, screenplay. All wow. of them, Every single one. You were you were nominated for every uh -huh. award. And welcome in Raiders, Evan J. Stern, and welcome in folks. Uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm helping Diane. I did the music. Nyad. I did the music. That song "Bend on the Run" in the movie. I wrote that. Okay, I haven't seen the movie unfortunately, but it sounds fantastic. Pussy. Um, excuse Bruh. me. What is happening with the sound alerts tonight? I don't know. <laughs> what What is happening with the sound alerts tonight? I, ju I just don't know. Okay. Um, well, Diane, could you maybe help me out with what it is the problem it is? Because it sounds like things are going really well for you. Well, I was nominated. I didn't win a single award. And uh, things got out of hand. I was a little, I was in what they call a K-hole, what the kids call a K-hole. I got a little upset. And, uh, and I killed, uh, what's the little one, the little girl? The little girl with the red hair, Emma Stone. Mm. And I, I'm using everything brand, everything now show brand hydrofluoric acid to dissolve her body and it's taken a long ass time. I see, okay, we've been getting some complaints about the acid. Um, yeah. I did see in the yeah. chat that someone donated $5 and I'm not sure why that notification didn't come up. Um, but, Diane, please don't go anywhere. Okay. We're gonna be assisting you the best way that we can. I noticed that you did send me an image here and uh, we're also going to refresh the stream elements input to make sure those $5 notifications come in. But in the meantime, Diane, I think uh, you you sent us an image. Let me see if I can download it. Okay, things are coming in. Slow on our end. Gotta mute that. There it is. All right, so it's, it's there. Okay, and let's see that image that Diana sent. Is it Diane or Diana? Diana. Diana, now is this? I'm named after a water nymph that's older than time. I see. <laughs> uh, can you tell me what I'm looking at here in this image? It's a picture of you. 
Oh, you took a photo of me? Yeah. Oh, I guess that is me. Wow, how could I have forgotten that? This is you if you were deciding to live your fullest life, which is to say, swimming in the waters just off the of Florida Keys. I see. Okay. Um, well, thank you for that. I guess, um, I, I guess you photoshopped me onto that guy? Yeah. I see. Okay, well, I know Photoshop. That's very impressive. I was nominated impressive. for best visual effect. I almost killed Godzilla. I got really pissed. Did you see that Godzilla one for best visual effect? I can't say that I did. Like I made I said, it so it looked like I swam through the Taj Mahal. Did you see that? I. You know what, Diana? I did not see Lazy. any of that. That's the problem with your generation. What, I'm how sorry. old are you? Are you in college? Where? What are you doing? I'm 22. Okay, so you probably live. I at home. I just graduated. You probably live at home. Yeah. When you move out into the real world and, and get a real job, you get a big boy job. You'll understand that life is more complicated. Sometimes you have to swim from Cuba to Florida to prove a point to Jodie Foster. Uh huh. All right. <coughs> and take a deep breath for me, Diana. Take one nice deep breath for me. Thank you. Take care. Thank you for calling. Woo! I was kind of just zoned out for a lot of that, folks. But I think, I think we nailed it. I got really nervous when they asked if I had seen a movie because I haven't seen any movies. And uh, when I have, whoa, thank you so much, tax man. Uh, what I like to do when Bruh. somebody asks me if I've, okay. What I like to do if somebody asks me if I've seen a movie and then I haven't seen it, what I like to do is lie about that so that they think that I have seen it and agree with what their opinion is. And I think that's a strategy that you might be able to employ in your own social lives. But folks, I, I think we did. Is something going on in the office? <laughs> yeah, what? What are you brewing? What? Just curious. It sounds like everyone's having a lot of fun in the other cubicle. Maybe don't worry about what we're doing. Okay. Well, folks, that Thanks. call went Maybe well. You stay focused on your bag. You trying to. A shitty haircut. I'm trying to. <laughs> folks, that call went great. <laughs> and I think we're ready to do another one. And I think <sighs> I see. Oh. Just when I was about to do my next call. Just when I was about to do my next dang call, this freaking co-worker is rocking up. All right, guys. Just, this will be just one second. Hey. Are you going to teleport in again? Maybe. <laughs> nope. I dropped my pencil. Ah, hey there. <laughs> What's up? Is something going on? I'm trying to- I got calls. I'm supposed to- we, yeah, we're all man. supposed to be doing calls. Nah, I know. We heard that you were upset that you weren't included in the little powwow going on in the ah, next, uh, yeah, I just, next cubicle. Yeah, what was going on? What was the joke about? Oh man, we're just watching some old, you know, legendary YouTube shit. You know? Ah. Uh, the history of dance. Chocolate rain. Cho what is that? Chocolate rain. Some say dry and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. A baby died before the dump it's of the chocolate rain. You ever seen that one? Wow, I was testing you, man. That was really funny. Thanks, that was really man. good. I think they're gonna love you, okay? Thanks. So you I appreciate that. You wanna hop on over right now? No, I'm working. This is our job. We have to do we have to do our job. You actually work here? Like you like you like do the work like you do the work part? I I try to. Why? Well, cause that's that's what we're that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, we're supposed to, but you know, it's like you break rules. I mean, rules are made to be broken, you know what I mean? Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mm, they're not gonna like that. That made me feel kind of uncomfortable. They're not gonna like that. You're no Tito. You are no Tito's Tito. Tito's my uncle by marriage. Really? Yeah. I thought you looked a little Filipino. He's married to my aunt. That's cool. So you're like a little Filipino? No, I'm fully white. Okay. But I love Filipinos. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, my uncle Tito has really sort of like introduced me to that culture a lot. But I should probably get back to my calls. Yeah, Got a lot of calls. Name five Filipino people and I'll leave you alone. Rocky Pajarito. Okay. Manny Pacquiao. Okay. Um, Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, true. Um. Mmm. There's this guy on TikTok who's half There's Filipino, half guy oh Joe Coy. TikTok, <laughs> yeah. He's not okay. on TikTok. I mean, he probably we is on renounced TikTok. him, so you're still at three out of five. No, no, that counts. No, it doesn't. Chat, help me out. Steve Carell. <laughs> Perfect. Great. All right, you're in. But consider <laughs> thanks, uh, Steve. Skip, thanks, uh, Socratic. Consider skipping out on work if you want to hang with the big boys. I won't do that. All right. Bet. Mr. Jollibee, thanks. That would have been my, that would have been a great sixth. Well, folks, 
That was my annoying coworker, and we're gonna raise the price on that just a touch, I think. Yeah. But uh, I, I noticed that we got a couple more subs, and I'm wondering if we had any more uh, any more entries into our card for our friend who is suffering from a tattoo-related accident, whose name we all remember. Brandy. Brandy. My girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Do you know anything about the nature of her accident? Yeah, she was getting a full face tattoo. Or it's a tattoo of my face on her chest. A tattoo of your face on her chest? Yeah. Wow. Uh, do we have any more entries in the Brandy card? Yep. Great, let's have a look at those. Take a look. Go ahead, go ahead. Read pick it up, them. just pick it up and read it. Nice, nice, good option for it. And Taxman said, sorry about your tramp stamp that you thought was the Chinese character from for waterfall, but really means loose poops. I see. Okay, that's confusing because I just spoke to her boyfriend and he was saying that she was getting his face tattooed on her chest, but this must have been a serious mix up. No, the Chinese loose poops went well. My face didn't. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Well, in any event, folks, thank you so much for those cards. I'm sure Brandy's really going to appreciate it. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to write your own entry in that card and help us hit our goal but in the meantime i think it's time to take another call so uh if you wouldn't mind folks let's uh let's help another customer all right because at the end of the day it's all about helping oh, oh hey it's okay that was just me that's fine that's fine that's fine i'm being told that's fine let's go ahead and pick up the call <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, is is this uh, um, is is this you? Thank you very much. Hi, yes. If you mean uh, Gary Belmonte at Everything Now Corporation Customer Service, it is me. How can I help you? Um, you guys, you, you really fucked up. Like, oh, I'm really so sorry up. to hear you really that. Fu fucked up my order. <laughs> I'm sorry. I fucked up your. We fucked up your or. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be using that language, even though you are. What? Uh, could you help me? Un uh, tell me who you are. Um, my na my name. Yes, please. I'm just going to pull up your Everything Now Corporation uh, file on our end so I can be of best assistance to you. Uh, um, uh, my first name is Richard. Uh, my last name, my second name is um, Nixon. Richard <laughs> Nixon. Yeah. Okay, no, no, and can no, you spell no, that for me? Um, N I. N I X X O N O N. All right, I'm pulling up your file here. Yes, I got you right here. You are the former president of the United States. Do I have that right? No, we have the same name. But when oh. you hear when you hear the name Richard Nixon, who do you think it's gonna be? Do you think it's gonna be him, or do you think it's gonna be me? Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm just looking into our computer here. Uh, welcome in go off kings and 422 viewers uh, We are on a call right now with a Richard Nixon who is calling to complain about a problem I haven't figured it out yet. And it looks like he's phasing into my office just a touch there So we're gonna work on that, but uh, Mr. Nixon so sorry. I had you confused in our system here Can you tell me about the nature of the problem that you're calling in with? Okay, I'm not, for, first of all, I'm at a funeral right now, so don't scream. You're, on, so speak, sorry. you're on speaker right now. I, okay, well, <laughs> because I have an ear after chief thing, answering the so phone, I have to have you on speaker. Question. I apologize for that, so Mr. Don't Nixon. Yell. They're lowering my friend right now. Uh, Mr. Nixon, I do, unfortunately, just because we have another person by your name in our system, the system is requiring me to do an identity verification on your file. So I'm going to have to ask you a quick question. Okay. Um, let's see here. Your security question here I have is, uh, my top three candies. My top three candies? Okay, num number three should be... It's reverse order? Okay. Yeah, I, is, I remember typing this answer. Yep, number, yep. Number three should be Burris, Candy Burris of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes. Candy is Burris? Three. Yeah. Is my number three. Okay. Number two should be corn. Corn? Briss, corn, yes. Corn, and my number one should be the, the sweet, sweet touch of a father figure on your shoulder. Okay, let me just type that full phrase out. The sweet, sweet, sweet touch of a father figure on your shoulder. Yeah. And... My child, I'm sorry that you're grieving, but... Wait, touch, no, touch the shoulder. Touch, touch, you want me to touch the yeah, shoulder? Yeah, touch my shoulder. Um, uh, the scissor lift that uh, is lowering the... Are you okay? No, it's awesome. Sorry. Okay, yeah, the scissor lift that we're using to lower <laughs> the casket is getting interference from your phone call. Uh -huh. So the, the, 
the, the cask is just kind of vibrating in place. So if okay. you can wrap that up, then we can get the rest oh. uh, buried. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to say about touching my shoulder? That I'm, I guess, maybe we shouldn't. I'm, okay. I should probably go. Okay. Hi, Mr. Nixon, are you still there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay, great. Your security verification did go through. We've Thank got you. the right Mr. Nixon here. Okay. Uh, so do you prefer to go by Richard or Mr. Nixon? Um, you can call me, um, people call me, people call me, um, Sticky Dick at my school. Okay, well, I don't particularly feel comfortable saying that. Well, it's because Richard's nickname is Dick, and, uh, one time I accidentally, um, I put, I, one time I accidentally killed the cow that was Elmer Glue named after, and so then they gave me nickname Sticky Dick. I see. It's I'm gonna not, go ahead and call like you a, Mr. It's not like a Nixon. Per, it's not like a perverted thing. Okay, and I didn't think that it was, and I would never think well, that I'm of a customer really good like at, you. I'm not good at tone, but it seemed like you were implying that I was being pervert. Got, well, Mr. Nixon, you don't have to worry about me. I always assume that customers of Everything Now Corporation are totally sexually above board. Now, okay, Mr. Cool. Nixon, can you please uh, help me understand what it is that you're calling about today. Okay, um, so basically I ordered a bunch of st stockades from you guys. Because stockades. I work, I have a part-time gig at the Renaissance Fair because my aunt owns it. Mm -hmm. And then um, y you guys didn't send me that, and you guys sent me a bunch of grenades instead. Ah, I see, okay. Um, did you place this order over the phone? No. Okay, I was thinking maybe there was like a miss hearing cause stockade and grenade sound so similar, but let me go ahead and check on that. So you said, well, uh, how many stockades was the order placed for? Um, the, I ordered uh, 400 stockades. 400 stockades, now yeah. that's a lot of stockades. Well, okay. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to make that seem like a value judgment. It, it, it came off that way though. Okay, uh, well, I need to check my tone, I guess. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Nixon. That's okay. We're gonna get that sorted out for you. Are you still in possession of the, I guess, 400 grenades? I noticed that you sent me a photograph here. Yes, I did. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up on my end. Let's see, I'm downloading it. It seems to it's be a really big file. It's a large image. Yeah, it's a I'm large seeing file. That. It seems like it's an MP4. Now, that's typically a video file, but it seems like it's just one frame that's been <laughs> uploaded for it's a it's yeah, a 30 Okay, so this is a 37 minute video that is just this one frame and that is probably well, why it you, took so long. Do you have audio capability? Oh, uh, you know what? I don't. They took that away from us because we kept listening to uh, music at right. our at our desks. But well, that that looked like What is that? That's a what is that? Clearly, that's two. That's two cow patties from the cow I killed, and that's um, glue. Right. And then a, a, a creamy poop. And a creamy poop. I see. Okay. And, and that, that's what happened because of the grenades that you guys sent. I see. So you you. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not totally making the connection here. What happened with the grenades that resulted in the creamy cow poop okay. uh, sandwich? I accidentally set all of them off. I see. And then it killed a, a, it killed a, a local cow school. It killed a local cow school. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, I had no idea that they even congregated in that way. Mr. Uh, Mr. So it's Nixon. Like a school, like a like a elementary school for cows. I see. Okay, so it was an educational facility for the cows themselves. Yeah, that's what the funeral I'm at is. Is there was one human working there, and so we're oh. at his funeral. I see. Okay, Mr. Nixon, uh, you've given me a lot to unpack here. I'm gonna have to put you on hold for just one moment, my annoying co. I mean, my coworker. I mean. I've got something going on at the office that I need to check in with in for just a second. Okay. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to need you to verify your identity one more time for me. So uh, okay. I'm going to leave you with your security question and you can just think on that. It shouldn't okay. take you too much to think on it. It's your security question. Um, uh, but it says here, top three female actresses. Um, is your security verification question. And so uh, if you could just uh, give me one second, I'm gonna throw you on hold for okay. just a moment. Okay, we've got quite a doozy here, Chad. It seems like one of our customers thought they were hey, ordering. Busy? Oh, uh, yeah, kinda. I, I, it's really urgent, honestly. All right, yeah, how can I help? Well, I was thinking about asking Ron Waldo out and Ron Waldo. I know you're Filipino, so I was thinking you could maybe tell me some Filipino things that could help me. You know what? You might be confused, confusing me with my Uncle Tito. My Uncle Tito usually works this desk. I'm filling in for him while he visits uh, the Philippines. Yeah, you're Gary, right? Yeah, Gary Belmonte. I'm, I'm Tito's nephew by marriage. 
Right, but you're related, so you're Filipino. Well, we're related, but he's married to my sister, who is also white like I am. So you don't want to help me? Well, I could try to help, I just I don't know how much help I'm going to be. What what's, what can I do? I don't know, it's just Rowan Ronaldo is so sweet. I think he's so funny. Yeah, you should just... tell him! You should tell him that? You should tell him that you think he's sweet and funny! How do I tell him that in Tagalog? Um... Are you looking at your texts right now? No. You're looking at your texts right now. You're not even looking at me. How do I say that somebody is sweet and good looking in Tagalog? I can't believe this. You're looking at your texts right now instead of addressing me. I would just say, see ya, I matamis at Maganda. Thank you so much. Yep. I'll let you know how it goes. No problem. And just say that exactly how I said it, and I'm sure it's going to go well. Got it. I got to get back on the line with Mr. Nixon. <laughs> Mr. Nixon, so sorry to put you on hold like uh -oh. that. Were you able to find your top three female actors? Yeah. Uh, uh, go ahead and, and give me those so I can check your identity. Okay, number three is um, Candy Burris. Same, same as my number three yep. for candies. Okay, well that helps me. I had it already right in line there. Go ahead, next. Okay, number two is um, uh, uh, K K Caitlyn Jenner. Okay. <laughs> it's an interesting pick, but... And number one is um, uh, F Filipino legend and icon Leah Salonga. Hey, you sound Filipino on the phone. Are you Filipino? Mm, I, I, I wish. I, I really like am kind of Filipino, like a thank white Filipino. You. I take that as a compliment, and honestly, it would be much uh, better for me, kind of situationally, right now, if I were. But unfortunately, I am white. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have no follow-ups. Okay, and I'm not going to read into that response, but I do see that I have an image here. I just want to let you know that I forgive you for blowing up all 400 of my cows. Uh, it was very impressive how each cow got one grenade themselves. Yeah. Uh, would you like to work on the farm? Will you touch my shoulder when I work on the farm? And do a bad job, like a bad boy? Like like spank you on the shoulder? Yeah. I mean, I suppose, well, it's 2024. I'm okay. not really gonna question anything like that. So. Mr. Nixon, I would I'm, love it. I, I don't mean to interrupt. It sounds like you're in the middle of a conversation. Well, like you, you are still on speakerphone. <laughs> I just, I see that you've sent me another file here. It is a 123 gigabyte. What I'm seeing is sort of a raw video file in 4K, but it does appear to be another still image. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is an hour long 4K video that is just this one frame. <laughs> yeah, yes um, man. It is taking up quite a bit of space on our hard drive, so if you wouldn't mind explaining it to me so that we can quickly remove it. Well, in therapy, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't have a dad. And so they said, <laughs> what do you think your dad looks like right now, knowing that he does, his son is in, not in his life? And so I drew that image to say, that's what my dad looks like. And so I just sent that to you so you can be a little nicer to me because you've been screaming at me this whole time. I'm so sorry, Mr. You've been Nixon. You've so mean to me. I deeply apologize if that's the way that uh, you've interpreted my, uh, my behavior Don't on this call. Don't weaponize therapy, speak at me. <laughs> You're right. You're right. And you know what? This would be a great opportunity for me to recommend and Best Help, which is Everything Now Corporation's uh, premier therapy services. So okay. uh, I can't help you on the phone right now, but I'm sure one of our qualified therapists at what Best Help. What was that help, pause? What I'm was sorry? that pause? I'm on the phone, so I can't see you. What uh, was that pause that you just did? Some sort of unusual connection, a, a bug in the system here. But I'm going to recommend you to Best Help uh, and get you set up with a qualified. Wait, Therapist. It sounds like your white Filipino fingers are doing air quotes, is what it sounds like on the phone to Mr. Me. Nixon, uh, unless there's anything else that I can help you with on this call, I'd love you, uh, I'd love... You love me? Wait. Hang up, hang up, <laughs> hang up. <laughs> hang up. <laughs> well, folks, I thought that went okay. I'm not my uncle, clearly. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like for a lot of the people that are interacting with me today, but I'm doing my best and I think we did okay on that one. I noticed that someone gifted a sub to Amaranth and I'm really hoping um, that uh, she'll use it to enjoy some ad-free viewing of the show. But speaking of subs, let's go ahead and take a look at our car. Wow, Sasha Gray with a, with a <laughs> tier three 
gifted sub from Anonymous Gifter. Thank you so much. Wow, all the stars are out tonight. In any event, folks, I think we've got a few more entries uh, on our card for Brandy, who, if you're just tuning in, suffered some sort of severe tattoo incident. Uh, and so everyone in the office putting together a card. Uh, let's see. Uh, ah, final janitor said, Loose poops. Kind of reminds me of Yoshi eggs, haha. I hope this doesn't offend anyone, but I'd like to smell those bad boys. All right, final janitor. Not sure if that's necessarily the most appropriate thing to write in someone's get well card, but I know it's the thought that counts. And of course, Keith wanted to mention that uh, tattoo, more like tat ow. Boy, that's gotta hurt. Sir Sticky Dick Nixon. Okay, and so it seems like they've signed that from a secondary identity. Um, and. Keith also wanted to say that exact same thing again. Thank you, Keith, for doubling down. Just in case, uh, in case Brandy was somehow distracted, uh, she'll, I'm sure, be able to see your message when she turns the page. Stamps, thank you so much for the sub, and thank you to everybody. We're only eight subscriptions away from hitting our goal, folks, and if we do, we'll head on down to the water cooler where you'll get a chance to help one of our more socially awkward... Whoa, Stamps, you're killing it. Thank you. We'll help one of our more socially awkward co-workers make small talk around the uh, water cooler. But before we do that, I think we need to take another call. That last one didn't leave me feeling super confident, but I'm really feeling good about this next one. I think I hear the phone about to ring. I can sense it. Yeah. Ah, nope. Oh, phone system went Ah, down. wait, nope. Just kidding. Give us a second. Ah, folks. <laughs> God. Remember when I was farting earlier? Thank God that's not happening anymore. How we feeling? How how how, how would you rate my last call? How would you rate my last call out of ten? Uh, this is a great way to kill time. Just keep giving us money. Thank you, Jelts. <laughs> Uh, how am I doing? Jake? I'm not sure who Jake is. My name, of course, is Gary Belmonte, the nephew by marriage of Tito Frank, who typically works his desk. As you can tell, he's Filipino. And as much as I love the culture, unfortunately, I am not. But it seems like now it's time to pick up a call. Perfect timing. Let's help this person out. Hello? Can you hear me? Hi there, coming in loud and clear. Thanks for calling Everything Now Corporation. My name is T uh, uh, Gary Belmonte. How can I help you? Hi, I know how these things work right away. Manager, please. Whoever you are, you're not doing a good job and I'd like to talk to your... Is my phone working? I just got a new phone. Uh, I wish I could see what's going on over there. Unfortunately, we're connected telephonically and so you're gonna have to describe oh. it to me. And I, I need you to, we're, we're sending in some Everything Now services for you in just a second. <laughs> really? Come on. Yep, that's the rule. That's the rule. Okay. He can call back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be calling, oh no! Who is this, sir? No! Who is this, sir? <laughs> Let's get your name. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're being raided by how quickly I'm able to resolve people's problems on these calls, I gotta say that was one of my better calls. As a reminder, folks, for $5... You can murder these callers, and that seems to be what happened there. I have a sense that that particular caller had a strong constitution, though, and it might take more than some poisonous gas to fully kill them. In any event, we're now only five subscriptions away from hitting our goal. Five more, and then we'll head on over to the water cooler, where you'll get a chance to help make some small talk with some of our more awkward uh, co-workers. Dave, I'm not sure if that is sort of a prophylactic $5. We really appreciate the donations, but I'm not even on a call yet. Uh, maybe just keep that one in your hip pocket for when we get our next caller. Uh, or we can just bring out a really quick caller with very, you know, sort of superficial <laughs> characteristics. And... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Maybe later. Um, thank oh. you for the donation, Dave, in any event. Did we get any more entries onto uh, Brandy's yes. uh, Get Well card? No. <laughs> Great. Then I think it's time to take our next call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure about that? Yep. Yeah, I know that's right. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm gonna be taking another call. John Wick, remember from the movie? I know that's right. And 
There we go. And here it is, the call. Let's pick it up. Hey. Hi there. Thank you for calling Everything Now Corporation Customer Service. You're welcome. We're oh. helping you out. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for calling. And let's maybe go ahead and raise the price of the call termination to, I don't know, $10? Just so that we can have a conversation with one of these callers, maybe. But we appreciate your donations. Anyway, folks, uh, if you're just joining us, like I said, $30, that feels sort of excessive. I don't know. Let's go... All right, well... <laughs> if you're just joining us, folks, my name is Gary Belmonte. I'm filling in for my uncle by marriage, Tito, who works here in the Everything Now uh, Corporation call center, helping customers with their problems. Everything Now Corporation, obviously, we provide world-class services and products, so not a lot of things go wrong, but when they do, we're here to help, and you're here to help me get that done. So, as we've seen, you can donate now $10 to kill callers, but there's also other ways you can interact with the show, and I would be remiss if I didn't encourage you to use those instead. Thank you for the subs. That's another way you can interact. Potato Slaw, thank you for that subscription. By subscribing to the show, you get to write a little message in the Get Well card for our friend Brandy, who had a tattoo accident earlier, and we're all writing great messages in the card that I'm sure she'll appreciate reading. Uh, so thank you potato sloth if you want to write a message for brandy go ahead and type exclamation point submit and then your message And I think in a moment We're gonna be taking our next call But while we wait to do that <laughs> Tell me friends <laughs> How are you enjoying your time at the everything now corporation obviously you are here to work with me but as my job, oh, and look at that. <laughs> That's great. Do that. As if, as if on cue, it appears that my annoying coworker is making his way over to my cubicle. Sorry about this, folks. I can see him walking down the extremely long hallway over to my cubicle. Thanks, Wicked Lazy. Oh, hey there. Hey, what's going on? Oh, are you talking to me? I can't I can't turn my head and look if, and oh. confirm if you're talking to yes. me. Yes, hi, yeah, sorry. I just noticed you sort of leer, like, kind of looming over my cubicle. I thought maybe you were here to talk to me. Yeah, I was. I just didn't know if you were on a call or not, because work seems so important to you. Anyway, whatever you told me to say to Ron Waldo, well, apparently it was racist, homophobic. What? Fascist. And... Are you sure you said Sia I Mat... Thomas at Maganda verbatim in your diction in particular and let's just mm, say that might have been where you went wrong Yeah, let's just say that he didn't take lightly to it. Oh, are you, are you he oh Oh, I'm so sorry if you are if you're talking to a male you should be saying Sia I ma Thomas ad guapo Guapo that ah. explains everything ah. So sorry about that. That is my fault. That was that's on me for assuming gender roles. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Very, it's very great. kind of you. Well, I think I'm probably gonna have another call coming in. All oh, right. In fact, there it is. All right. I'll let you know how it goes next time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wait. Hold on. Hold on. No, it's okay. I'm okay. Good I'm Come good. on in. We're good. <laughs> Come on in. I mean, let's ah. take this call. Hi there. Thanks for calling Everything Now Corporation Customer Service. My name is. Gary Belmonte, how can I help you? Hi Gary, is this the call line that you do to get encouragement to jump off the bridge finally and end it all? Oh, um, no, no, I'm sorry, sir, sir. Hi. Hi. I, What's I need, your name? Hi, my name is Pip Tipman. Pip? Mr. Tipman, hi. No, uh, you, you well, actually, you know what? You it's not the right it's not the right number, but is it, it is the, the right number? number. Okay, this is the right number. This is the right number. Right, just stay it, on the it line. It feels with like me. it would solve everything. Yep, just hey, just stay on the like line. It feels like it would solve all of the jams I'm in. Uh, oh, I just need one word out of your mouth and I'll die. 
I want ten dollars to die. <laughs> Pip, Pip, make it twenty. Pip, you just hang on with me, and we're gonna help you solve your problem. Just one second. Give me just one moment. Chat, chat. All right. What can I say to Pip? What can I say to Pip to just keep Pip from jumping off that? What looks like maybe fifteen foot bridge behind him. I'm gonna hammer this bridge underneath me and re and let make it give out structurally. <laughs> Uh, offer him sex, tell him, call him chicken, <laughs> tell him to breathe in deep, um, okay, uh, uh, okay, uh, uh I'm gonna what? end it all! Uh, uh, thank you, Dinsdale Piranha. Hey, hey, Pip, hey! Hey, hey. it's me, I'm on the phone! Great, Pip, hey, listen, why don't you just take one deep breath in through the nose and out, okay? That's it, thanks. Pip, tell me what's going on. Help me understand what it is. I mean, I know you've got this problem. Oh, actually, save that thought. I noticed that you just sent me an image. I just I'm texted you something that will explain it all. Okay. And this appears to be a still image of a video file that's 136 gigabytes. Yeah, it's a big file. It's, it's really high res. It's in a file type called MP7, which I wasn't aware was a file type. But no, it's, a, it's actually a machine gun. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Well, we've got VLC on our end, so we should be able to open that file. I'm going to pull that up right about now. Uh, I'm working on, uh, let me just work on uh, what are you typing right now I'm, I I have to enter a specific code to access files this large typically it can crash our servers do you ever think about how maybe sometimes not being alive anymore is the best option for everyone so this should explain it right yeah why did you send me this so this is my stepdad Ivan <laughs> and right off camera he's making eye contact with my best boy Nate and my stepdad Ivan's really fucking good at tech techs, and he's trying to show me up. He's on a vert ramp, which honestly, in terms of doing tech tech stuff, isn't even that fun. Like you want it to be a half pipe. I told, I tried to explain to him, Ivan, it's more fun if you go up and do a trick rather than just ski slalom launch. And he's like, no, 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 no. And now he's best friends with my best boy Nate. Got it. Okay. Wow. Um. Well. Hey. See, listen. See, you, so you kind of seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing it. Yeah. That's your stepdad. He's doing a tech deck trick on the on the half pipe. He's so he's so good at having sex with my mom. I see. And he, that's he really you sad. Kill yourself? No. That that actually has nothing to do with it. Got it. Okay. I'm actually just happy that my mom is satisfied. I'm happy that he's really laying pipe into my mom in a way that my mom is happy with. Okay. So and right off I'm camera, good. I know. I know. Underneath what this that, looks like. that shot, he's actually in my mom right. Now. Wow, okay. Do you see the mirror behind him? You can see his bare ass. Okay, and and you mentioned <laughs> and you mentioned that this isn't related to your problem really in any way. So the no, it is related. He's impressing my best boy Nate off camera. He's making eye contact with my best boy Nate. And while that's happening, he's making love to your mom. Well, he's it's no, it's not even love. They have they have making love where they make eye contact and he has laying pipe which is what he's doing in this shot. I see, and that's sort of, I, and I don't know if this is intentional, a bit of a double entendre, because he's both laying pipes in the sexual way, but also Not using the half, the half pipe. pipe. He's not using the oh, half right. pipe back to the, he's using a slalom launch. Okay. <laughs> He, so he's next to a half pipe, which would make more sense. I told him, I'm like, Ivan, use the half pipe. You can do more tricks. You can do more stuff. And you know what, Pip? I'm going to have to throw you on hold for just one second. Don't you here. dare hang up on me. I'm not. Go, I'm going to live if you hang up. I'm going to live if you hang up. Okay. Hey, chat. We just threw him on hold for just a second there. Warm winter. Thank you so much for your submission. We're gonna jump back on on that call. I think we wanna shift the focus a little bit away from the stepdad who seems to be having sort of, I guess, like performative uh, exhibitionist sex in front of this guy's friends and maybe move it more towards something actionable that we can do to help prevent him from, I guess, killing himself by destroying a bridge from underneath it and, let it, uh, letting, <laughs> and letting it fall on top of him. Uh, so if anyone has any ideas on how we can get that going, um, ask about his job. That's great. Thank you, Keith. All right, let's jump back on the call. Pip, It hey. better be good, because I'm ready to do it all. All you need to say is the word or give me $10 and it's over. Well, Pip, I'm not going to do that, but I've got more than one word for you, and it's actually a question. Tell me about what you do for work. What I do for work? Yeah, what's going on? How are you paying the bills, Pip? So I am a medical doctor at the end of the day, but that's not what I do for work. Because if you work, if you if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, which is why I'm a starting pitcher for the San Diego Padres. My goodness, wow. Well, you are quite the accomplished uh, uh, citizen of New York, Pip. So I'm so let me get this straight. You are 
uh, a medical doctor who practices pro bono by, I guess, day. <laughs> For and fun. Then, for fun. And then at night you go and pitch for the, you said the, uh, the San, Diego San Diego Padres. Padres. Super Padres, as we call them. I see. Go uh, Friars. That's got to be a it's pretty. work. I, I hate it. My, it sucks. Well, I've got good news and bad news for you. <laughs> All right, give me the bad news. Give me the bad news. <laughs> okay, the bad news is unfortunately. Don't you I say I'm going to survive. Don't you say I'm gonna survive. Well, that's we're getting a, we're putting the cart before the horse, Pip. The bad news is, unfortunately, I can't help you with your job for the Padres. That's that's gonna be work. But you know, if it was work, they'd call it play. That's what my uncle Tito would always tell me. But he sounds like a nice, a sweet man. He sure is. He sure is. Every day, I wish I was him. Are you but, from an island nation? Let's go ahead and send <laughs> over the help. Let's go ahead and send our help to our customer. Yeah! Yeah! It's giving way. The gas isn't what's killing me at all. <laughs> Farewell, Pip. <laughs> what perfect timing. Excellent. Well, I'm glad. Sometimes, sometimes the only way to help a customer is to hurt them. And that's something you learn here at the Everything Now Corporation customer service. But it was perfectly timed because Mjorn gave us two more gifted subs. And thank you so much for that because those two gifted subs put us over the line. And now we've reached our goal, which means we're gonna be heading over to the water cooler where you are gonna get a chance to help one of our more socially awkward coworkers make some small talk with some of our co-workers uh, co here around the office. Um, we also got some more subs, which means, yes, and our coworkers who are dressed like normal people, I should also mention. Obama! Um, Stop, I got rid of those. Yeah, I know you did. did. someone say something? I was checking if the sound alerts earnestly work, I'm sorry. Um... Five dollars on a kill. Hey, did we, uh, did we get any more? Speaking of, I know we got, and people are saying soda in the chat, which of course is the natural call and response to Obamna. Uh, we all know this, but, uh, let's go ahead and see what else is going on in the card here? Ah, yes, Naked Comedy mentioned, if we'd make me forget, why I for gore to smoke? <laughs> and thank you for that lovely sentiment. We Look at this. Is this. Is this a cool effect? No, I think it's a good idea, actually. Try it again in a second. Okay. Hold on. All right, so you're pulling up the card now. Nope. A little slow, but that's okay. We tried. <laughs> and Socratic said, tattoos are the work of the devil. I hope you get well in heck. Socratic, thank you for your honesty. Although you seem to be condemning uh, Brandy for their decision to get a tattoo, I know that she'll appreciate your honesty at the end of the day. Thank you all for your submissions to Brandy's card. I know she's going to appreciate it. Not creased enough, says Hulu. How's that? Uh, okay, and that's a little peek. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, what the next caller? That one's so good. Might, and that would have been great. Would have been great to see that. And put the card down in three, two, one. Pretty good. Well, folks, like I said, we turn hit our goal. Thing. Turn on the thing. If you subscribe, turn on. Turn I'm on sorry. The thing. Turn on the get annoying. We're part of the next bit. Come on, buddy. Come on. We're part of the next part. Great. I'm being told that. Uh, the cast is ready for the next bit, which, We're ready for the next bit. like I mentioned, is the water cooler bit. So get ready for that. We're going to run some ads, but don't go anywhere, because after this, you'll see all of these guys in a totally different scenario. And if you unsub, you get $10 back. Nope. <laughs>
I don't watch the Oscars. I don't have TV. Oh, I'll, do was, I'll donate to you. Really? I saw the slap happen. You really? That was last yeah. year, but you saw, I saw the show. Slap, the slap? There was a slap yesterday. There was too. another slap yesterday. Yeah, I saw it. Wow. Whoa. Who That's got crazy. slapped yesterday? Um, uh, Ki Hui Kwan. The guy oh, from Everything Ever All Once. Yeah, oh, yeah. he slapped. Hey, so uh, nice. what's, what's everybody uh, talking about? Talking about the, the Oscars, Oscars, man. Academy Awards. Did you watch it? What was your favorite part? Okay, all right. So I don't, I don't remember much. I, I, I don't know what's going on about. Is it, I think it's an Academy Award, but I need something to say, something smart, something that will make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. Okay. All, all right. Thank you. Mo what? Movie good. Oh. Yeah. yeah what, I... what movie did you think was good? <laughs> what? What <laughs> movie? What movie did I think was good? What movie did I think was good? Okay, thank you. Uh, Nyad. Uh, really? Is that? I don't know. Oh, like the one with the the swimmer lady. Uh, Annette Annette Benning. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, what's your yeah. favorite thing Annette Benning's been in? <laughs> <laughs> I I would say Warren Beatty, <laughs> but I don't think that she ever penetrated him. So, okay, come on. We need something, please. Okay. Okay. Oh God. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Uh, Among Us movie. Uh, is that? Oh, oh you 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 saw yeah, that's coming out next year. Uh huh. Annette Bening's in it. Yeah, I heard about this. Really? Okay. Who's uh, your favorite A-lister in that? Who's it? Uh, <laughs> A-lister. That's just that's the one for AMC, right? The Stubbs list, where you get to you can go see movies a number of times in movies. Okay, come on, I got it. somebody else has gotta be in that movie. Somebody else has gotta be in that movie. Okay. Don Cheadle. John Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Sounds like a Nepo baby to me. A little bit. So yeah. Don Cheadle and Annette Benning are in the movie? Yeah. Wow. I was gonna say the only thing Annette Benning's been in is probably Warren Beatty. Warren oh, Beatty! Oh, wow. <laughs> that's your That's funny. That's, 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 that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. You gotta be the best man in my way. He should have said the thing about. I should have said the thing about the Warren Beatty thing. Somebody's gotta make me say something funny in response to the Warren Beatty thing that I almost said. Please, please, please. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Dick Tracy. <laughs> Sorry, I loved that. Damn it. Hey, I gotta be honest. That was I, I gotta be honest. The Office pervert was the only one that laughed on that. Mm. Yeah, I, I've been I've been asked to leave from uh, HR recently. Yeah. They said I'm allowed to drink at work. <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna become friends with the office pervert? Do I want to become friends with the office pervert? Do I want to become friends with the office pervert? I mean, I just like no one else has really reached out. I feel very isolated. I feel alienated and atomized here at this workplace. And if he's a pervert, that's fine. I feel like right. Okay. Tall glass of vodka. That's the right answer. Wow. Now the only other rule is you have to spell the word pussy with dollar signs from now on. Who are you turning? Can everybody can everybody in chat type pussy with two dollar signs? <laughs> can we get can we get can we see the pussy in chat with the two dollar signs, please? Let's see the pussy in chat with the two dollar signs. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Wow, I'm feeling I'm feeling different. Hey, do you know what Luke Null, the office pervert in our office, did? <laughs> do, you know, do you know why he's called the office pervert? Do you remember what he did at the conference two years ago? What I no. did! You must remember it! No, brother, dap it up. What the hell? He's learning! The number is right five six two four zero. Oh. Right five six two four zero. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. In addition to supplying information, operators put through all kinds of calls, many of them to out-of-town points near and far. And for each call they handle, they record the facts needed to accurately bill the customer. The calling number, the place called, and length of the conversation are all noted for use by the accounting department. Like the operators who handle telephone calls in my town, here in the central office, you can feel the pulse of the community. The flashing lights on the switchboard reflect the activity of the town. Thank you. It begins to stir in the early hours of the morning. Your name and number? 
It reaches its peak in the rush hours of daytime. That's Pennsylvania, what place, please? Thank you. And then settles back for the night. It's the job of the traffic department to handle this changing volume of calls. It has to be ready with enough equipment and enough operators, 24 hours a day, to meet the customer's demands for service. From the earliest days of her training, every operator learns to think of her job in terms of service to the community. This is information. May I help you? Yes, I'd like the new number of Wilson's Meat Mart. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> We uh, we had a great time over at the water cooler, didn't we? And by we, I mean you, because I wasn't there. I've been at my desk helping more callers here at the call center. And if you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Gary Belmonte. I'm filling in for my uncle, uh, Tito, who is my uncle by marriage. He's away in the Philippines right now. So I'm filling in for him, taking calls from callers who are upset with their service at the Everything Now Corporation. I know, can you believe it? Sometimes things just don't work out at the Everything Now Corporation, and that's where we come in. We hit our goal, as you'll notice here. We've reset it, and we've also reduced the price down to a mere 15 subs. So if we get 14 more, we'll head back to the water cooler for more awkward, I mean normal, water cooler talk. Uh, you married your uncle, asked Chico Snow? No. He's my uncle by marriage, which means that he's married to my uh, sister. Uh, fire sale. Yes, that's right. For a limited time only, the sub goal only is 15 subs instead of 20. Um, he may, huh? Wait, did I say it wrong? He, he married my sister. That makes him my, oh, brother-in-law. No, he married my aunt. He married my mom's sister. Yeah, he married my mom's sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom's sister. That would be my, that would be my uncle by marriage. Folks, that's not important. What is important is we just got another sub. Thank you for that. If you subscribe, that means that you get to write a message in our uh, get well card for our good friend Brandy, who, as we all know, is a fine girl. Had some sort of tattoo-related accident. All of you guys have been writing such nice messages in the card for Brandy, and if you subscribe, you get to add a new one. I know. That's what I was thinking, too. Do we have any new messages for our friend Brandy to read? Sure. That damn is it. Damn it, the damn image it, again. Damn it. Let's look at the card. Ah, there's one from Warm Winter who says, you need to give it up. Had about enough. It's not hard to see the boy is mine. I'm sorry that you seem to be confused. He belongs to me. The boy is mine. Thank you, Warm Winter. I'm sure that Brandy will know what you meant by that. But now, folks, it's time to do what we all came here to do, which, of course, is take calls from disgruntled customers. And that's where I need your help, because we got to help these people so that they don't feel upset about their service from us, the Everything Now Corporation. Uh, does that all make sense? Do we all get it? And also, now it's $10 to kill a guy. So, if you really want to do it, we can't stop you. But we're making it more expensive so that we at least let them tell us what their problem is before we immediately murder them. Thank you so much, Keith, for the other gifted sub. You're on a roll tonight. All right, I'm so fucking gruntled, dude, says Slippery Peels. Well, call in. Maybe we'll be able to help you with your problem. Oh, wait, no. Gruntled is good. You want to be gruntled. You don't want to be disgruntled. All right, let's take that next call. Yeah, there's one more card thing. Oh, wait. It looks like we've got one more entry into our card for Brandy here. Let's look at it and not the image of the meat no! in the fucking toaster. <laughs> Ah, uh, it seems like Warm Winter's message is starting to creep onto my thumb a little bit. Mjorn says, Yes, I would like a number five double meat, extra pickles, and a side of special sauce. I'll tip cash at the door. Mjorn, I'm not sure how you misunderstood that this was actually not our lunch order. Sometimes around the office, we will uh, write our lunch orders down and send one of the assistants out to go grab uh, lunch for the whole office. So I think maybe Mjorn misunderstood what was going on. 
uh, there. Uh, Mjorn, just so you know, this is a card that we we're all writing for Brandy, who had a tattoo injury. But uh, if anybody else is looking for lunch, uh, I guess we can also throw lunch orders on here too. So if you subscribe and you want to put your lunch order in the card too, I guess we can use it that way as well. All right, I really think it's time to take another call. And if we get 12 more subs, we'll head back to the water cooler. Another call, speak of the devil. Let's pick it up and try to help this person. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Hey, can you hear hey. me? Hey! Hi, yes! Hi, Come through me? loud and clear. Thank you for calling Everything Now Corporation. You've got Hi. Gary Belmonte. How can I help you? Hi, um, I, uh, I'm calling because I called, I, I ordered a thing to revive all my livestock, but they're mm. still dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, which specific Everything Now Corporation product did you purchase for your livestock revival? Um, it said, it's called, um, move, wake up, bitch. Ah, yes, let me check here. Move, wake up, bitch. Yes, okay, so this is a specifically a cattle revival uh, mechanism that we sell. Can I get your name really quick, please? Yeah, sir? it's um, it's it's Cream Boy. Cream Boy, yeah. and is that all one word? No, it's two separate words. I name, see. And then Boy is my last name. It's, it's, it's Swiss. First name Cream, last name Boy. Well, Mr. Boy, it seems that you've sent me an image here, uh, which I'm gonna use, okay, and can you help me understand what it is I'm looking at? So I walked out into the barn yep. just to check on my cows. Right. And they were all dead, and this is all I saw. Okay. All I saw was the Jonas Brothers as frogs. I'm on sorry. A, it was the Jonas Brothers as frogs. Look at it. It's the. Can we pull that up one more time? It's clearly the Jonas Brothers dressed up as frogs ah, on top of a gun. I see it. Yes. That's Kevin, Joe, and Frankie. Frankie. Nick was not. Nick's not. Don't ever say that about Nick. And I would never. Yeah. And it seems that they've got some sort of firearm there so now. I had to take a picture of it real quickly and then run out before they started shooting at me. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. they opened fire on you. We can go ahead and take that image off the screen now. That's quite frightening. Uh, I can imagine the distress you must have been under, Mr. Boy. It was really scary. But I So then, after that, I ordered your thing. Yes, the uh, moo, bitch, come back to life. <laughs> Say it one more time. <laughs> Moo, bitch, come back to life. Okay, that's not what I said, but okay. What did you say? It seems like you heard me, but you're not listening. I'm so sorry, what did you say? I said moo, w wake up, bitch. Right. I, right? I think that is right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to punch up the name of our own product. Uh, let me, <laughs> let me, uh, let me go ahead and see if we have any recalls out for that particular device. Okay. Um, in the meantime, can you tell me a little bit more about what's going on at the farm? As things settle down, have you experienced any other strange or unusual uh, behavior or oddities at the premises? Well, we lost our secretary actually, and we're, <laughs> we're looking to we're looking to hire um, a, a Filipino person who's good at phones. And you, I don't, it just seems like, oh. You're looking to hire a Filipino person who's good at phones. Is that you? Do you want to work up, I'm, I don't mean to poach. Oh, ah, unfortunately I am white. So I, I although I, oh. I like to think of myself as good at phones, I am not Filipino. You although, sound Filipino on the phone. I'm getting that a lot today for some reason and I'm taking it as a compliment. But unfortunately, if that's what you're looking for, uh, I'd recommend using uh, EN Corp recruiting services because we could potentially help you find the Filipino who's good with uh, phones and uh, make that service available well, to you. Well, let me tell my animals that keep <laughs> <laughs> that are like frolicking in front of me that they're not gonna get an, a dad. Oh. Hey, no dad mm. this season, sorry. Well, uh, well, I'm glad to hear at least that the animals are frolicking. I was, I was worried well, that- they're not anymore. They're actually Boo Boo the Fool sad now. Oh, oh my gosh. What was, did I just hear a- uh, continue this call. Please they just jumped off of a 10 foot bridge. <laughs> security verification With question. a gay looking Mario. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Cream Boy, I would love to carry on this conversation, but it does appear that I've got, let me see here, yes, five other Cream Boys in our system here, and so in order to verify which one you are, we're going to need to do an identity check. Okay. Um, now, I have in here uh, your security question, which is top 
three alternative milk products. So not dairy milk, but like oat milk and that kind of thing is how the question is phrased. I, can I ask one thing about your security questions? Why is it top three? I've never done any kind of well, security where it's like multiple ones. Yes, well, we have found, we've had a lot of security issues here at Everything Now Corporation, and we want to ensure that our customers' data is secure, which is why we don't use single factor authentication. We use triple factor authentication, and each of those oh. factors is a type of milk in this con in this context. So please, if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Boy, what are your top five non-dairy milks? Five now? <laughs> yes, okay. we've, we've had, because when anybody asks us why we do this, we are compelled to increase the amount of questions to ensure security. <laughs> Okay, number five. Um, if I rem I'm remembering this correctly, number five is milk, milk, milk from a a a, a, a father. Milk from a father. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me enter that. But not in a weird. Not in a weird way. And not and should like I include that in in parentheticals? Milk from a father, not in a weird way. Yeah. Okay. That's that should trigger it. That's like the correct. That's the way I put it. Got it. Okay, it's case sensitive. I yeah, understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's one. Uh, num number four is um, milk milk of um, milk of uh, uh, Filipino typist. Milk of Filipino typist. And I'm going to go that? ahead and do I have that? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately not. And I'm going to assume that this one also is not in a weird way, right? Yeah. Great. Non-derogatory. Non-derogatory. Yeah. Excellent. Number three is milk of Candy Burris. Not weird. Okay. And we're just putting in parenthetical not weird after all not of these. Weird. Great. Yeah. And usually when people answer this question, it's like, you know, oat milk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you. But I'm not here to can judge. Can I finish my list before you go, undermine me? Go right me? ahead. Go right ahead. No, <laughs> okay, no. number two is oat milk. Okay. <laughs> if you had just like waited two and seconds. And should we put not weird for that one as well? No, weird. It's okay, oat milk perfect. weird. Oat milk yeah. weird. Got yeah, it. Like oat jizz. And um, um <laughs> number one yep. is um uh milk milk uh just milk milk the the movie with Sean Penn. <laughs> Number one with a bullet, milk with Sean Penn, not weird. And that should work. we're in. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that, Cream. You understand security is our priority here. Yeah, now, absolutely. let's get back to your issue. Now, you purchased a device that was supposed to bring your cows back to life. Now, I understand that the cows are probably still dead right now. Do we know the cause of death originally? No, I can't figure out why. Okay, they so... They just fell to the ground. I see. And then when you purchased the Moo, bitch, wake, wake up. up. Wake up, bitch. Moo, wake up, bitch. Yeah. When you purchased that product uh, and you tried to use it, what effect, if any, did it have on the cows? It made me horny and them dead still. It not made, together. It, <laughs> Okay, I, I just see. want to say not together. Sorry, can you hear me? I, I've been putting my phone down really low. Sorry. It does seem yeah. like you're coming through a little bit on the, you know, like the connection doesn't seem great. What are you on an iPhone? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and consult some of our consultants to figure out if there's an alternative solution we have for bringing the cows back to life. Give me just one second. Chat, chat. Well, how can we bring these cows back to life? Usually this device brings cows back to life immediately. Is there anything else we can tell cream? To get this cat or these these cows back to life, necromancy, satanic ritual, pull ears, pray to God, spray milk in the cow's ass. Well, that's a very interesting idea. Um, I, um, uh, ritual, ritual. Yes. Okay. We're getting a lot of suggestions about that. Hey, oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Okay. Cream. Thank you. I mean, sorry, Mr. Boy. Yeah. Your first name is Cream. Uh, thank you for holding on for me. We've gone ahead and consulted some of our experts, and we're finding that the best way to bring cows back to life is sort of an analog solution, not using technology, and that's a good old-fashioned necromancy ritual. Are you familiar with this practice? Uh, no, necromancy? What you're gonna want to do is lay a few candles down on the floor and draw what's called a pentagram. Now, that's okay. just a fancy way of saying five-pointed star. Okay. Are you with me? I'm doing it right now. I have all Great. the tools here by a chance. Go ahead and get that set up. And then, uh, chat, is there like some sort of secret magical phrase that we need to say? Like a secret, like, you know, you know, some, some kind of phrase that we say for this necromancy spell to work? Are you talking to someone else on the line? What's that, Mr. Are uh, you Mr. talking to someone else? Can I just talk to the person that's more competent than no, you? No, 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 no. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm just uh, verifying that all the uh, uh, advice that I give to you is is up to date. And I've got okay. it here. Um, so what you're going to want to say is uh, wibbity wobbity wonks. 
Are you for real right now? I wish I I wish I weren't. Those are all slurs. <laughs> oh my god. Those goodness. are all slurs in the in those are all slurs in the farmers of color community. I I had I had no I am so sorry. Aren't you Filipino? You've been saying that this whole I, time. Nope. You've been screaming every single sentence you say is I'm Filipino. I am not Filipino. You keep saying I'm hee hee ha ha Filipino. <laughs> I apologize if that's how you're hearing me. It does seem like we've got some sort of unusual connection here, potentially related to your iPhone. Um, but it, it, it no matter, Mr. Boy, if we want to get around this, why don't you just say W word, W word, W word? And that'll work, even though I'm not saying the slur? Yep. I mean, I can say the slur. I'm, I can, oh, well, I'm telling you, you can I can say, say it. Go ahead. It's just weird that you keep saying it with your full chest. And, well, I only said it the one time. <laughs> I only I, said it the one I time and a, I wasn't aware. I heard a smile with that. I, no, I'm, I assure you, Mr. Boy, I am deathly serious on my I heard a, I heard a, a nice little Filipino smile cracking through the speaker. Well, that's... I'm going to take to choose to take that as a compliment. Okay. Go ahead and say those words, boy, and, and you'll find that your cows have come back to life. Wibbity wobbity wonks? Oh my god. <laughs> They're all dead still, but they all have boners. Okay, and I'm so, uh, Mr. Boy, I'm so glad I could be of service to you. Thank you so much for calling Everything Now Corporation. We're so glad we could be of assistance. Okay. You have a great rest of your day and take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Another problem solved. Great work, chat. Uh, and thank you for that quick thinking there. I would have never come up with putting together a seance using a magical slurs, but you in the chat came up with that creative idea, and I salute you for it. Folks, if you're just joining us, my name's Gary Belmonte. I work here at the Everything Now Call Center, making dreams come to life. And by that, I mean solving people's menial problems with the products and services they buy from our company that don't work. And you are here to help me in a variety of interactive ways, including potentially killing the caller for $10. But you can also use sound alerts, and you can subscribe. And I encourage you to do that, because if you do, you can write a message in our card for Brandy. Now, uh, those of you who have been here already so far tonight know that Brandy is a coworker of ours who suffered a, a serious, uh-oh. Oh, it seems that my annoying coworker is making his way back over here. Anyway, as I was saying, folks, uh, we've got a, a coworker here who's out of the office right now dealing with a serious tattoo-related emergency. Uh, and if you want to write something in their get well card, just go ahead and subscribe and we'll show it on stream. Uh, we only need 16 more subs and then we'll hit our goal again. Hey, what's up? How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm doing all right. I don't know if you saw the sign I posted on the fridge, but I am selling deviled egg Lucy's. Wow. I didn't, I noticed that there were just sort of some. You got the egg, the white part of the egg. The white part of the egg is just sort of hanging out. It's in a bag that I found. <laughs> uh huh. And then there's the yellow part of the egg that I kind of, I took all of those separate yellow parts and mashed them together. I call that the special. So you can buy that from me if you find me, but you gotta find me. Okay, well, I will, uh, I guess I'll seek you out. And just so you know, it's hard to find me. All right, well, you know what, I'm actually, I actually- And right now it doesn't count because I came to talk to you. Okay. You gotta search me out. I w and when, if I do find myself with a hankering for, I guess, sort of deconstructed deviled eggs, there's a guy I know who to call. There's a guy that's easier to catch. He's a little bigger and louder than me. And he has an actual, like, he's, my. I have an air tag on my person under my head at any given time. And he has the, the he can know, he knows where to find the air tag. So if you catch him, I'm a lot easier to find. I see, okay, well. I appreciate the heads up, and uh, I'll be reaching out to you if I if I want some eggs. I love you. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I fucking love you. <laughs> Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he still there? Is he still there? Is he still there? Is he still there? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Well, folks, that was a fucking nightmare. Uh, but thankfully. He's gone. So I guess it's time now to go ahead and take our next call. But reminder, folks, we only need 11 more subs, just 11 more subs. And if we do, we'll head back to the water cooler where I'm sure we'll have some stimulating conversation. Let's go ahead and pick up the phone. They hung up. They hung up. Shit, we missed one. That's gonna be a ding on my uh, report. Oh, another opportunity. Yes. Hi there. Thanks for calling. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for calling Everything Now Corporation. My name's Gary Belmonte. How can I help you today? Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Darren, can you hear me? I'm sorry, is your name Darren? Yeah, my name's Darren. Can you hear me? Darren, yeah, you're coming in loud and clear. Right, How can great. I help you today? Hey, um, so 
You guys, um, I ordered a Pandora. You seen Avatar 2? Way uh, of the Water? I haven't yet. I actually have never seen a movie. You're missing out, I mean, brother. yes, I've seen, of course I've seen Avatar. The one with the... the one with the hot, hot people. Hot people. The hot, hot people, people in the water. I loved they're how... They're aliens, hot, but you know they're hot. You know they're hot. They're aliens. They're in the water. Yeah. Right. How can I help you, Darren? Okay, so here's the thing. You guys sent me a poster. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's a good one. It's not big enough to fit my bedroom. My, my bedroom specs... My bedroom specs are three and a half feet by five feet. That's the space I sleep in standing up. I see. And um, I wanted to And you really... said the poster was not big enough? No. Or it was too you big? You sent a smaller, you spent basically a bus stop size poster, which is almost as big as my room. But let me tell you, look, I work I work a stressful job, man. Dar Dar I, 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 I park the planes. I see. Well, that does sound like a very stressful you know job, you, Darren. Yeah. Darren, I noticed you sent me an image. Maybe this is going to help me understand, visualize yeah, what's going on up. on your this end. Is gonna, yeah, I, yeah. I guess I'm having a hard time visualizing. Mm -hmm. I noticed that you sent me a file that says here it's 336 gigabytes. It's in a file type called Rage, which yeah. I'm not familiar with. It sets it from my Razor. Okay. It's R4GE. Yeah. That's right. Now that, now that in there is uh, my old doll that I, I put in the ground um, uh, sexually. Uh, uh, yeah. Darren, help me, and that, Darren, help me understand my, what you mean that, when you say you put it in the ground sexually. Oh, oh I, 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 um, yeah, that, that, that doll, uh, it lost its will to live. I, I did, uh. The doll's in the box? Yeah, we did, you know, I work in Denver. You know, we got a lot of stuff going on at the Denver International Airport. Sure, sure. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of, uh. There's that scary horse. Yeah, exactly. So, uh. I, I got it, sexual, I know what the photo looks like, thank you. Um, a sexual encounter with that doll there. I see. All consensual, good stuff. Few cult members, good time. Sure. And uh, after that, the doll had to be put in the ground. Yeah, the military Understood. came in because I parked the military jets here. It's a stressful job. And uh, that right there, that's actually my dad. Ah, yep. okay, so that's your father in the mm -hmm. photo He's there. He's a colonel. I see. Okay, he seems to be sort of sullen at the idea of burying this hente doll. Yeah, he wanted, yeah. Yeah, he wanted to have fun with it, but you know. I see. That's the thing. You guys made that doll, and that served its purpose. But my poster, man. Right, the poster. I, the I'm Avatar not relaxing. I'm not. I don't know if you can tell, sir. I'm not relaxing. I have a stressful job. I park the planes. Did I tell you that? You mentioned sir, that, people, Darren. The pilot flies them. You probably traveling them. You probably flying them. But when they get to the ground, where are they going to park? That's a great point, Darren. And one That's that right. I hadn't and considered. And if I'm not doing this. They're gonna get lost. Well, I would love to help you uh, calm down, Darren. So okay. why, let's let's go ahead and walk through this issue together. Now, it, you you ordered a poster for the film Avatar 2 for your bedroom, which we've established is three feet by five feet, yep. and the poster you said was too small. Yeah. Uh, now, is this a problem that could be alleviated by simply sending you a different size poster? That'd be great. Great. Okay. <laughs> well, let me go ahead and check our inventory right now Good. for. <laughs> Avatar 2 posters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, well, I want the I want the part of the movie where they're in the water. You know, where uh, because when it just feels like, don't you just want to live there? Don't you just want to get out of the world you live in and just be in the water? Swimming around out oh, there. That around. sounds, love that for yeah. the uh, the part of the movie when they're, they're in the water. Some people say it's too long. The aliens, me, I would never say that. For me, it was just the right amount of time Did for you that, like that it? they were in the, me? <sighs> Love that when the hey. guys were in the water that part. What do you do to get loose man? Sorry, what do you do to get loose? Well, I just you know what frankly I just love helping people I know I know it's a boring answer But I live to serve here at the everything now corporation now I pulled up our inventory of posters for avatar 2 here And unfortunately it does seem that we're out of stock. However, what'd you say? Sorry, Sorry a check just came over. What'd you just say? Jet just came over. What'd you say? Uh, unfortunately, it does appear that we're out of stock for Avatar 2 posters. Is there anything else oh. that I could send you that might make you feel like you've been helped? <laughs> Chad, is there, Chad, what can I tell this guy? He's clearly <laughs> emotionally unstable. <laughs> Darren, hey Darren, uh, it looks like you've just sent me another image here. I'm trying to download it. <laughs> yeah, one. yeah, maybe this will help you. Okay. I don't uh, know if it's gonna help you with your image. Yeah, that's mm, it. Okay. Yep. That is an interesting image. That is the doll out of the box. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> this image was sent to me from the doll. 
I think this is a, this is an evil, evil, evil doll. This is uh, it says devil, by the, the doll. devil is in this. The devil is in this doll. That's what you don't understand. That's why I had to be put in the ground. It's out. I see. Okay. Well, uh, we, we can get we can go ahead and get that off the screen now, uh, Darren. And I don't want to put words in your mouth, but what I'm hearing here on my end is that the problem might not necessarily be related to the Avatar poster so much as that you've got some sort of cursed doll that you're trying to deal with. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm sleeping. You remember that box? That's where I sleep, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, my dad watches over me and a few, a few paramilitary guys. And uh, yeah, it's following me everywhere I go. I see. Well, it seems like what you're actually in in the uh, market for, Darren, if I may, is exorcism services, which, which Everything Now Corporation does offer. Offer. Is that something I can interest you in? I'm cool, but I'm not paying extra. Oh, well, Better we, already be included. We would not imagine charging you extra to solve a problem that we caused, Darren. So let me go ahead and consult... You guys consult, are the best, man. Let me go ahead and consult some of our uh, experts in the uh, exorcism Ooh. services, and I'll be with you in just one second. Chat. Sweet, I'll play Snake too. Chat, I don't think we actually have exorcism services at Everything Now Corporation. Is there something that we can do to kind of like kill this doll and make sure that it stops coming back to life? Any like any, uh, any advice? Anything to just get him out of his... Getting, masturbation? That sort of an interesting idea, but let's keep brainstorming. Um, chant the W word again. I don't think that's going to work on this one. Pay $10. That's very interesting. I'm liking where your head's at on that one. Uh, rub salt on its feet from first time chatter Gorble sh uh, Shorp. I'm not familiar with that practice, but let's try it out. Hey, Darren. Hey. Hey, do I still hey. have you there? Yep, yep. Just pausing Snake 2. Great game. Great game. Love how there's the snake in it. Yeah. Darren, uh, listen, I've got a suggestion for you, and call me crazy here, but it just might work. Have you tried rubbing salt on the feet of the sex doll? No. No, I've tried it rubbing tons of stuff on its feet. Okay, can you Baking give me a list? Soda. Yeah, give me a list of seven things that you've tried rubbing sure. on it. Sure. <laughs> Baking soda is one. Olive oil, mm -hmm. my father's beard trimmings. He's an elite man and grows fair facial That's hair quickly. Three. Um, just dirt from a baseball field. Okay, the, so the which baseball diamond. field? Um, Field of Dreams, took a vacation there, took the whole family, oh, good wow. time. Oh, wow. Yeah, it wasn't That's relaxing. Really fun. You know, yeah. I talked to the pitcher for the San Diego Padres earlier today. Oh, I know. Yeah. He's a good Small guy. world, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got he's the yips, though. Is the head thing going on with that guy. Yeah, right yeah, he was trying to kill himself with a bridge. Oh, Sorry. that's Go it. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, also, you were at four. Um, uh, milk of the movie Milk did that. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, hair from my own head. Mm -hmm, that's six, and one more. Yes, and then also um, a relic from the Saint uh, Angel Peter from Oh wow! Russia. I went and there. you would think that a relic from the Saint Angel Peter, yes. something that has sort of <laughs> kind of mystic powers, would be the thing that does uh, sort of revoke the curse upon this sex doll. But you and me both, what I'm being told is it's actually just plain old table salt. Do you have any around, Darren? <laughs> yeah, man, I've got tons. I mean, it's mixed in with my cocaine. Oh but yeah, I'll, I'll figure it. Get that, yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay. Um, you know, honestly, it might be best if we can separate that somehow. Is there any way? Um, that we can. Uh, I'm just gonna have to smell it. You're just gonna have to, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey man, do you guys sell coke? We do. We do have everything now. Corporation cocaine. It's synthesized in a way that makes it technically uh, uh, immune to scheduled uh, drug laws here in the United States. It's kind of like it in. it's kind of like how kratom works. Oh yeah, um, I remember that stuff. <laughs> that stuff was fun. Yeah, that's yeah, good stuff. I used stuff. to take out a few baseball buddies of mine. Gary. We found Talk to one lizards. More Avatar way of water poster in stock. Oh, we need it. wait! What did I just hear someone tell you over there, man? Uh, yeah, Darren. What Darren. did I just hear someone tell you over there, man? Come on! Great news. Uh, I did just get word from the warehouse that we found one last yes. Avatar way of the water poster here left in stock. Yes, because here's the thing: if the dog here it is. No, well, that's not movie quality. What? This isn't from the movie. What is that? Okay, it's pretty cool. It's sure pretty it cool. Is that's pretty cool, pages. I guess. What was the deal with the McDonald's guy? Why is Ronald there, man? Oh, you don't remember that part from the movie? <laughs> he was there with the whale and the other guy. I guess. Maybe, maybe I saw the extended director's cut. That, that would make this a very uh, exclusive poster, Darren. You know what? You know what? How big is it? What's the dimensions on it? Because I might take it if it's right. Let me double check on that. Remember, it was, it was you five. said that your room is three feet by five feet? That's correct, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm checking the dimensions here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is um, uh -huh. 
Come on. <laughs> nine by four. Okay, but okay. So centimeters. Nine by Centimet four centimeters. You're yes. way too small, it's man. It's roughly the size of a postage stamp. It's a stamp. Yes, which means it should fit comfortably inside your room. That doesn't help me out, man. I need something I can see before the dog gets me. Okay, well we. I'm going with the salt. All right. Well, you've been unhelpful. Yep. Here, actually, here we have a two. We have a two scale. You know what? You know what? Does it glow? It is, yes. Does it yes. glow in the dark? If you hold it under a light for long enough, it will glow in the dark. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep it out in the sun for a bit. All right, well, okay. we're going to get that shipped out to you, Darren. Is there anything else I can help you out with in the time being? That's cool, man. Excellent. All right, Darren, well, you have you have a great rest of your day. Keep parking those planes. You're doing God's work out there, man. Hey, hey, man, God bless you. And God bless the Everything Now Corporation. Yep. I said I'm fucking taking my break, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> A 5x8 costs $2,000 a month in Los Angeles. Mm -mm. It's tough. It's a tough world out there. We did it, folks. We helped another customer. They're going to be enjoying their tiny glow-in-the-dark poster of Avatar 2. If you're just joining us, folks, my name's Gary Belmonte, and I work here at the Everything Now Corporation in the Customer Service Department, helping customers like Darren solve their issues. You, our faithful viewers, are helping me out with their problems. Thank you. I don't even know what that was. It just said, it said thank, thank you. you. How did that happen? It says, thank you for the sub. Okay. Caesar to salad. Thank you so much. I don't know why that didn't count towards the thing. Sometimes when somebody converts their, uh, converts their gifted sub into a into a normal one or like a prime. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we'll add that. We'll add, we'll manually add that, which means we are now over one third of the way to our goal. We've got six subs, we need nine more. If we get those nine more subs, folks, we'll head back to the water cooler for some more small talk with our coworkers. But folks, uh, there's other ways that you can interact with the show tonight, and one of them is by submitting, uh, by subscribing, I guess I just said that, but you can write something in the card. Uh, do we have any more entries in our card for Miss uh, Brandy, who, as we all remember, suffered a serious tattoo-related issue. Yeah, we have a new one. It's at the top left, okay? Great. Let's go ahead and take a look at that entry. God damn it. And that is the poster from before. Gvigzus, and am I pronouncing that right? Gvigzus so. says, Jerma has me hostage. Please help. Ha ha ha. A classic inside joke that I'm sure Brandy will understand. Nice finger tattoo, by the way. Oh, yes, I did get fig leaf tattooed on my thumbnail. They said it couldn't be done. They said it's not possible to tattoo a thumbnail, but I went ahead and did it anyway. It was incredibly painful. Thank you so much for that entry. We're gonna go ahead and manually update the sub counter so it says six out of 15 in just a moment. And then if we get nine more, we're heading back to the water cooler. But folks, I think it's gonna be time now to take another call. We've helped, I think, probably three or four different people tonight with their problems. We talked to a guy who was a professional doctor slash baseball player. We talked to a farmer who wanted to have his cows come back to life. We just helped a airport employee who needed a new poster for the movie Avatar. There were two guys who we murdered before we could even hear what their problems were. It's been a wild night, but now it's time to help another customer. Oh, we just missed that one. Oh, gotta be quicker on the draw, I guess. Ah. Ah, okay, this one I'm sure is gonna pick up. <laughs> Hi there, this is Everything Now Corporation. It appears we need to loop your background. This is Gary Belmonte, how can I help you? Hey, this is the motherfucking devil! <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> devil, thanks. <laughs> 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 Hit the thing. <laughs> Motherfucking devil, you just stay right there. We're gonna be of assistance to you. Just oh you oh th this this doesn't kill me! <laughs> this makes me hardier! <laughs> oh, that was scary. That was frightening. Although I don't think it is possible to murder the devil with gas, so I'm a little bit worried that this next phone call we might revisit them uh in any event we we did our best to kill them and thank you for that sub whoever subbed uh uh go ahead and if you want submit a uh something in our card our card for brandy um 
Oh, it looks like we're getting another call. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up in now. H Hello? Hi. Thanks for calling the Everything Now Corporation. You've got Gary Belmonte. How can I help you? Hi, this is Regina speaking. Regina, hi there. Thanks for calling Everything Now Corporation. How can I be of assistance today? Hey, look over your left shoulder at that woman. <laughs> Brianna? Yes. Keep looking at her. Okay. Hey, uh... <laughs> How is it that you were able to know who was behind me? Oh, sorry. She j uh, Tell her that she's got terminal cancer. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Is this Say, I'll doctor? give you time. Uh, give me just one second. I yeah, no yell idea. to that woman behind you who hasn't moved the whole time. Tell her you, that she has terminal cancer. She actually might be dead now. She hasn't moved the whole time. You know, I, I'm not sure if that's a conversation that should be having had in public in, in front of the entire office. All right, you don't have to yell it. Okay, I'll just whisper it across the uh, across our cubicles. Yeah, sounds good to me. Brianna, hey. Ooh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> I'm on the phone with your doctor. I'm not sure why they called me. I guess maybe they got our extensions mixed up. It seems like, and don't shoot the messenger, you've got terminal cancer. You're only making me stronger. I'm not sure if she can hear me. Hi, yes. Yes, I'm going to Oh, it seems like you might be breaking up. Ah, another call lost. Brianna seems to be taking it really well. She is on a call. You know what? I'm just going to send her a G chat just I to make sure. I hope the devil doesn't call back in a different way. <laughs> that would suck. Well, we only got one call from the devil so far. The other one was, what was her name? A woman. Oh, some some lady by a totally different name. That wasn't sure, the devil. Sure. Anyway. Okay. Uh, Don't we have seven subs now? I thought we had seven subs now. We had the one that we were going to input manually. Um, Sounds like someone's good with numbers. I'm, ch I'm you know what? I, I have to prove myself here tonight. Regina, that's right. It was Regina who we talked to. It was the devil, and then shortly thereafter, we got a call from a different person named Regina. Well, unfortunately, it seems like we were disconnected from while I was telling my coworker that she's been diagnosed with terminal cancer. In any event, folks, I'm sure that this next call is gonna go very smoothly. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that connected. It looks like my coworkers are taking all the calls right now. I work with such great people. They're just jumping on the line. Oh, there goes another one. There goes another one. <laughs> okay. Give us a second. Phone lines are down oh, again. It seems like our lines are a little bit clogged up. And this is a great chance to uh, remind you folks that if you've subscribed tonight, write something in, in good old Brandy's card. I know she'd really appreciate it. Even Mjorn's message, which turned out to just be a lunch order that he misunderstood. Uh, he thought that this was the piece of paper we hand around during the office to order people's lunch. Uh, Hey, what's oh. up? It's me, Steeper Dubut. Steeper Dubut? Don't people counts. have to pay for you to show up? We're killing time right now. Okay. Uh, it's a little different. Oh. Is that for you? I thought so. Oh. Is the thing ready? No. Oh. What's up? Sounds like we're watching an ad. Well, did you, Steeper, what's going quick on? Quick question. Did you get my mixtape? Your mixtape? How did you send that? Uh, via email. Uh, it's a drive link because the file is too Ah, uh, drive link. What's the name of the file? Or what's the name? What's the subject line? Um, well, so it's my, it's my mixtape. It's a rap album. It's a concept album where I rap about uh, sort of informational facts about dinosaurs. Ah, uh, okay. It's called Pterodactylmatic. I see. Okay. Um, oh, and I just missed another call. Um, you know what? I think it may have gone to our spam filter. Okay. I can do it now if you want. Yeah. What? Uh, well. Okay. I brought my accordion. So I'm ready. And I'm missing another call. Oh, you know what? I've got another okay, call awesome. coming in. Okay, gotta go. Gotta, yep, sorry. Whew. Saved by the caller. And thank you for that sub. It's time now to take another call. For real this time. Hello. Hi there, thanks for calling Everything Now Corporation. You've got Gary Belmonte. How can I help you? Hello, Gary. Hi there, what's your name? My name is Holgarth12. Hogarth I'm calling 12 from Trader Joe's year 9000. <gasps> oh my goodness. Um 
Uh, Mr. 12, uh, can you help me understand what you mean by that? I'm calling you from the future. The future? Yes. Uh, wow, okay, um, that's incredible. Uh, could you, could, I mean, I don't want to take up too much of your time. You're calling with a problem. Tell me about your problem, sorry. Time I just got so given. excited. My problem is <clears throat> we're out of almond milk, man. I see. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Everything Now Corporation must be supplying Trader Joe's with almond milk in the future. Correct. That's great for Everything Now Corporation. That's a huge deal. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I can I can help with a problem in the future. Maybe if we do something in the present, we can solve the problem in the future, chat. Exactly. Hogarth. Okay, sorry. You heard that? Uh, oh. Hogarth. Well, um, I hear and see. It's these cool shades. I wish I could see them. It sound, I'm sure you've got oh. the coolest stuff in the future. Man, Can you, you describe the shades you're wearing? Amazing. The future's incredible. We have a meat section. We have a produce section. <laughs> you know, we got cool. There's a little bell at the front, which no one. What still, does that do? Still, people don't know. I really don't not. know. I they I see everybody kind of look up like something's about to happen, but I've I've never been able to suss out what the bell does. Seven thousand years later, no one knows. Just the manager, man. Just incredible. Joe. Well, uh, Hogarth, uh, while we figure out what it is uh, that we're going to be able to do to help you out with your almond milk on, on the back end here, I, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to ask some stuff about what's going on in the future. Of course. Uh, so you said you're in the year 3,000? 9,000. 9,000, my god. Okay, wow. Um, 9,000. Uh, I guess, uh, did we, did we solve all the big problems, you know, like racism, sexism, uh, war world war, world hunger? No. No, we didn't no. do any of that? No, it's just actually on more worlds now. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, so we took all the problems that we currently have on Earth, and we're, but, but we're interplanetary. That's cool. It's great. It's really nice. That's great. Yeah. Well, okay. Andromeda um, Galaxy? Uh-huh. It was so, so, so year 6,000. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. What, what's the, what's the cool planet to live on in the year 9,000? Oh, uh, it's actually, um, the moon Titan from Jupiter. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, pretty yeah. Pretty cool space. In pretty our, cool space. In our time, they were talking about how that might be a habitable location. I'm glad that that actually worked out. It's nice. Who, it's nice. Who was really, it? It's, it's nice there because um, the sex workers are great. Oh, oh, okay. And they're treated well, I, I take it? You've, you've, you know, figured that out? Sure. Okay, well, we don't have to get too bogged down in the details on that. I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> guard that. You we, asked. I'm just you're right. Telling. You're right. You're right. It was my Sorry, mistake to even go there. I'm just Remembering this last time I was on Hogarth with some buddies, um, it, it just makes me giggle. In our time, there's this guy who seems like kind of like remember the guy um, from that one Simpsons episode who promised everybody a monorail. Yeah, there's a guy kind of like that in our time who's promising interplanetary travel. Uh, did he figure that out? No. Okay, who was it that who was it that solved interplanetary travel? Was it someone from our time? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was, um, it was, uh, Lakers starting shooting guard, Austin Reeves. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Austin Reeves is the one who brought interplanetary travel. That's incredible. Yeah. I would have never expected that, but, you know, the guy seems like he can do anything. He's unbelievable. Went to a small school, and now he's putting up these type of numbers, and, uh, yeah. It's Incredible. Great. Well, um, I, I do want to get this milk situation sorted out yeah. for you, uh, yeah. Mr. Hogarth. So, um, you, you said that it's it's almond milk. Yep. No I more see. Almond milk. Believe it or not, you know, water is still it still is so important. And you know how much water it takes to grow almonds? I I wish I did. Do you know? Boatload. <laughs> wow. I got uh, that's that seems like I mean I guess it depends on the size of the boat, but it's probably a lot. Oh, I had yeah. a I had a question here actually. Um, uh, is Mr. Beast still alive? Did he figure out immortality? It seemed like he was kind of trending in that direction. You said Mr. Bean? No, no, Rowan sorry. At Rowan, that guy. <laughs> Who was that actor? Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, no. him. No, no, Mr. He's Beast. Oh, Mr. Beast. Yes, Mr. The the Feastables guy. Yep, he's still alive. Wow. Yeah, he figured out how to uh, you know freeze himself Walt Disney style, and it worked out. That's incredible. Is he still like making uh, videos and stuff? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what's the what's the latest Mr. Beast video in the year nine thousand? Now he just honestly he has a he has an OnlyFans now. He arches his back <laughs> and uh, makes really good eye contact for you. <laughs> It's now, great. when you say for you, 
This, yeah, man. You mean like just the who, whomever <laughs> happens to be watching? Yeah. I see. Wow. Sorry, I'm just remembering a video. That sounds Sorry. like incredible contact, yeah. and it seems like we've uh, content, and it seems like we've circled back to the sex workers on Titan. So I want to move us away yeah, from big that. Big on that type of stuff. Uh, we're gonna sort out this milk situation for you, mm -hmm. the almond milk situation. Mm -hmm. Now, how much almond milk do you need for your store? Twelve billion hectotons. Hectotons. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that seems like a lot. Mm -hmm. How are we on, let's say, maybe 30 gallons? Could that maybe hold us over? That's gonna be low. That's gonna be really low. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, give me just one second, Hector. I'm gonna consult with some of our... I'm gonna consult with some of our uh, our milk team here just for one moment and see what we can do about that. Great. Chat. Hey, chat. I'm gonna um, watch them. Beast video. First of all, I don't think we have any hectogallons of, of milk. And secondly, I don't know how we're going to get milk to the future. Does anybody have any ideas? We don't have a... We're, our team at the Everything Now Corporation is still working on our time machine. Does anyone have any ideas for how we can send milk to the future? Uh, use the metric system. Wipe out, uh, wipe out demand. Oh, that's interesting. If nobody in the future wants almond milk, then they won't need almond milk. Plant an almond tree right now. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, oh, okay, plant one now. By the year 5,000, there'll be tons of almonds. Really big straw. <laughs> a lot of great ideas coming in here. Donate $10, always a great suggestion. Um, okay, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm liking this idea now. We're gonna... Uh, Hi, uh, yes. do I still have you on the line there, yes, Hogarth? still here. Great, okay, so, you know what? I am, I'm finding some ancient scriptures here. Well, they're modern scriptures for us, but for you, they're 9,000 years old. Or I guess 6,000. Wait, what year are we? We're 2,000? So they're 7,000 years old. Correct. We've just discovered these that actually almond milk is found to be carcinogenic, and that nobody in your time should be drinking it. <gasps> Yeah, I know. I was just as surprised as you are. <gasps> so I'm, a, I'm guessing that's probably going to drive the demand down there, and you might actually not want this order. <gasps> are you alright, Mr. Hogarth? Are you okay? <gasps> Mr. Just, Hogarth. It's just, I'm standing in an entire vat of almond milk. Oh right my now. god. Why? Wait, what do you guys use for, what do you use almond milk for in the future? We put our feet in it, and it just really, it's like an Epsom salt stuff. It really relaxes you. Oh my god, I had no idea. But it must be the carcinogens. It's sort of like a runner's high. Oh, that must be it. That's why so many people are dying. Uh, uh, Mr. Hogarth, please step out of the almond milk. Step out of the almond milk, it's sir. It's too late for me, but it's not too late for you. What was your name again? Uh, my name is Gary Belmonte. Gary, I'm going to leave a review. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I can really use that. All right, well, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Mr. Oh, Mr. Hogarth. And let's go ahead and hang up that call. Ah! Ooh! Unlucky. We've got some more entries in the card. And look at that, we only need seven more subs to head to our goal. Doesn't look like we're gonna hit it in time, but could be pretty cool if we did. In that in any event. Here's some more entries, and just so everybody knows, I I know what you're thinking, and yes, I did get a tattoo. I'd got more of a tattoo on my thumb. I thought, you know how they say tattoos are addicting? Well, they weren't wrong. I tattooed even more words onto my thumb. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Prakul and their uh, message in the card, which was, what were you expecting? Tattoos, uh, uh, tattoos possessive are literally multiple repetitive vaccines. <laughs> Oh God, what were you expecting? Tattoos are literally repetitive, multiple repetitive vaccines. What were you expecting? Tattoos are literally multiple repetitive vaccines. And thank you, Prakul, for that perspective. I know that's right. Um, what an interesting perspective. We love to hear different points of views from everybody in the office. And so uh, thank you for sharing. And of course, Rainy Aubrey wanted to say, can I get on, uh, can I get in on that fish sandwich combo? Okay, so Randy Aubrey, another person who I guess misunderstood uh, Brandy's card as the lunch order that we were putting together. I can only imagine what they wrote on the lunch order slip. And Caesar DeSalad says, Grant, everyone's being mad about it, but you are now, <laughs> but you're now literally in a best picture Oscar winning movie. No one can ever take that away from you. Or, I mean, get well or whatever. 
And I'm not sure what that's in reference to, but thank you, Caesar de Salad. I'm sure Brandy is gonna love that message. Now I won't kill myself. Now Grant won't kill himself. <laughs> Whoever that is, and whatever that means. Folks, I think we have time for one more call. And if we get seven more subs right now, we'll head back to the water cooler. But let's go ahead and take this next call. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Everything Now Corporation. You can <sighs> Gary Belmonte. How can I help you? Hey, what's up? It's me, another different separate caller. I'm I'm a Blue Life Matter the Devil. <laughs> Blue Life Matter the Devil, thanks for calling Everything Now Corporation. Uh, just for clarification, is your first name Blue Life Matter and last name The Devil? Or so how do we break that if down? We're gonna, if, we're, if we're splitting hairs, my first name is Blue Life. Uh, my mom, I, so I'm a hyphenated last name, mm. uh, Matter the Devil. So Blue Matter, Life. my mom, Janine Matter, married my father, <laughs> Howard the Devil. All right, well, Mr. The Devil, uh, yeah. the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, the thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> can't say we didn't try. Thank you for watching wow. the Everything Now Show, folks. What a great episode. We do the show four times a week. We do the show on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Weekdays, the show is from seven to nine. Saturdays, it's from six to eight. Make sure to follow and subscribe to this channel here to stay up Not to date yet. on when we'll we go live, okay? And <laughs> crucially, make sure you join the Everything Now Show Discord. It's the best way to stay up to date on all things Everything Now Show, and it's the only way that you can submit images that are used during the show like we used uh, during the sections where we're like, what is, what do you got an image to send us or what? That's the stuff you do on the Discord. That's right, folks. Join that Discord, submit some images to see them on the show, and follow us on all these other platforms as well because we're sharing content. We're sharing behind the scenes content here on the Instagram. I'm sure we took some awesome behind the screen, uh, scenes photos oh, so from tonight's many. show. Uh, so we've many. also got we've also got uh, a YouTube channel where there are over 500 episodes of the Everything Now show uh, that you can watch. So if you're like, I can't wait until tomorrow night for a brand new episode of Everything Now Show. I need to watch more right now. Great news, there's over a thousand hours of Everything Now Show content right here on the YouTube, and we're also posting stuff on Twitter and the TikTok, so you gotta follow them all, folks. Boost those numbers for us. Um, and what else? Join the Discord. Uh, join the Discord, all definitely. The definitely. Uh, folks, but the Everything Now show could not be done without fantastic guests, and tonight was no different. Let's go ahead and bring them out now. It's, it's Luke, Strider, it's Luke, Strider, and it's, it's Steve. Steve. We do, oh, guys, so Steve. close to the same. It's Steve, it's Strider, it's Luke. Woo! Please pose under the sign. I'm Asian Annie. <laughs> Asian Annie. Little Asian Luke, Annie. Strider. <laughs> Fellas. That was a character we didn't get to tonight. <laughs> Asian Annie. No one can kill Asian Annie. Fellas, thank you so much for doing the show. Is there anything you want to tell the people at home about? Any plugs, any messages, any causes that you want the folks at home to know about? Let them know now. Call your senators. We're still in the war in Iraq. That's right. Let's get out of there. About damn time. Bring our boys home. I know that's right. George Bush doesn't care about black people. George Bush doesn't care about Steve? <laughs> Steve, what yeah, do you have to say? Oh, uh, uh, George Bush. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shouts out. Shouts out. We're covering all of our bases. Strider, what do you want the people to know about? Anything to plug? There's two George Bushes. There's a W and there's an H. H.W. H.W. Shouts out. Okay, great. And one of us is related to him. Guess who? <laughs> and you can't kill me again. <laughs> if you donate $10 right now, we'll kill Luke in real life. Okay, let's go ahead <laughs> and see who we're going to raid. Oh no, what?
Oh, it's fine. It's it's not a weird thing. It's like it's, it's a cool a thing. thing. Oh, it's good. A, you get you, all your viewers and the show's <laughs> done, and then you're like, bust oh. them to another show. Oh no, because oh. they want to hang out. So. Oh, because they all want to. They want to keep on hanging out. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Ten dollars. Tila tequila. <laughs> We're rating Tila tequila. Shouts <laughs> shouts out. Tell her we love her. We are going to raid our friend Crub, <laughs> friend of the show, a Crub. Show, friend of the show. Yeah. Sweet boy, great streamer. Say hi to Crub for us. Crub on. Also, booty I don't anime. live in Glendale. Why would you say that even if it was true or not? Why would you say that, booty Luke anime? Lives in Glendale. Luke lives in Glendale. No, I don't. All right. Luke well, drives a green City car. Buddy. We're sending over to Crub. Say hi to him for us and come on back tomorrow night for a brand new episode. Booty Bye. anime. Freaking booty anime. That's booty anime. 